Hello, everyone. It's Phil from Projected Reviews, and I am joined by my man, Brent, from Kaleidoscape. Brent, how are you today? I, I'm doing great, Phil. Thanks for having me on, and uh, hello to everybody from ProjectorReviews.com. We would like to thank AV Pro Edge and Meridio for helping us put on this year's Spring Projection Showcase. And in this session, we're going to be talking to Kaleidoscape. I love having Kaleidoscape on because there's more to a projection system than just the projector. If you're looking for a great experience, not only you got to take into account the projector, the screen, and the room, one of the most important things you need to look at is what is your source? How are you getting the content? Because you can have the best solution out there possible, but if the content is not very good, the experience, is not going to be very good. So if you're looking for the ultimate for movie content, a Kaleidoscape is the way to go. So Brett, can you talk a little bit about Kaleidoscape as a company? So if people aren't familiar. Sure, absolutely. So, uh, you know, Kaleidoscape has been around. This is actually our 20th anniversary, Phil. So uh, we've had, you know, 20 years of, of bringing product out. Uh, a lot of that started with our, you know, our first premier systems, uh, you know, again, going back, you know, almost 20 years. Uh, you know, as those came out, as Blu-ray came out in 2015, 2016, we came out with our Strato product. Uh, and that's a lot of what uh, generally gets talked about today, you know, as we go through and we can see in the pictures here. Uh, and so those are our 4K capable products. Uh, mm -hmm. And again, uh, we have our, our Kaleidoscape movie store, uh, which allows you to purchase those movies uh, in full fidelity, uh, download them right to our system where you have them available whenever you want to watch them. Being a reviewer, I have to be concerned with consistency because we have tons and tons of projectors that come through our, our office and our lab. And I need to be sure that any problems I see have nothing to do with the source. So I need an even playing field. So I have always been a fan of Kaleidoscapes. In fact, that is my rack in my um, media room. And I also have another unit um, inside of my office right now as a loaner. And both of those I utilize because I need to be sure that what I'm looking at is consistent. And to me, the ultimate source is a Kaleidoscape. So I'm not only a, um, a reviewer, I am also an owner. So <laughs> I really believe that this product is consistent. Not only will you see Kaleidoscapes in utilized by reviewers, if you go look at someone who is truly concerned with quality, and reliability, you will see Kaleidoscapes found in a variety of different homes. Regardless of the price points, if you're looking for the very best, a Kaleidoscape's the way to go. Now, we mentioned that the player is good, but your store is elaborate because it doesn't matter how good the player is if there's nothing to download to the player. Okay, so can you talk a little bit more about the store? Yeah, absolutely. So, and like you said, you know, the best player in the world, if you can't find the movies that you want to watch, you know, doesn't work for you, right? And so, uh, Kaleidoscape has relationships with 49 studios. You know, I always say mo most people could maybe, what, name five of them. Uh, so, when you look at 49, our content team has really gone deep to make sure it's not just the big blockbusters, um, mm -hmm. but it's all the other cinemaphile movies and, and lots of different films that you're going to see, uh, as well as concerts. Uh, and so we have about 12,000 movies uh, on our movie store. So movies, concerts, TV shows, uh, pretty much anything that, that you're going to want to see. And then in addition to that, uh, of those 12,000, about 1,200 of those titles are actually in 4K, HDR, or UHD. Um, and obviously, many of them are in Atmos. Um, you can see uh, here as you look at the store, you have the ability to, you know, sort by by different methods. So if I want to watch HDR content, if I want to watch Atmos content, if I, you know, anything that you specifically want in there, uh, we're able to actually filter the store. And that makes it really easy for people to be able to take a look. I always love the Rotten Tomatoes because uh, I'm able to kind of take a look on there and, and again, see kind of what's rated fresh. Uh, but yeah, you know, again, not just new films, but old films, uh, you know, pretty much everything you're going to want to be able to see is, is going to be in that store. Yes. Now, um, one thing that he brought, brought up that, that we've talked about in the past is their library. There's a lot of stuff that's, is, that isn't even available in 4k on physical disc. So, yep. so if you're looking for the widest selection, 
of 4K and HDR, and you want to have uh, access to more content, a lot of that stuff, the, the best way to get it would be a Kaleidoscape because you may not be able to even find the disc even if you want it to. So yeah, and, um, and I, now for a lot mm -hmm. – Oh, I'm sorry, Phil. I was just going to say, yeah, I think that's a, an important point in there. So as we look at those 1,200 titles you know, that we have in 4K – uh, about 400 of those titles, so you know, close to 30, 35% of them have never been released on disc. And we're gonna continue to see that because our content team, again, is constantly working with the studios to get more and more 4K content released uh, you know, that unfortunately isn't, isn't generally gonna come out for, you know, on, on disc. So uh, again, it's a great way if you want the largest library, not just of films in general, which we have a great selection of, but of 4K content, which most of us love if we're, uh, you know, building our theater in 4K, uh, this is definitely the way to, to to be able to get the most content possible. Yeah, and you're not paying a premium for it. I want to stress that. If you look at what uh, um, it would cost for you to buy the physical disc or to buy permanent rights to a streaming version of it, it probably costs about the same to get the digital to get the digital download. So yep. you're not paying a premium for this. Now, you've also offered another thing because before it was all about you buy it, you buy it, you buy it. Now you have something for someone who wants to test drive it before they buy it. So can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So this is an exciting piece that, you know, both dealers and our end consumer owners uh, have been asking for for a while and that's rentals. So, you know, a lot of us, obviously, as we build theaters, uh, we're collectors. Yeah, I've got about 700 discs that I've collected through the years. Most I've, I've transferred over, obviously, to Kaleidoscape um, through our Just to Digital program. But, uh, you know, when we look at the ability to, to be able to rent now, and, and that comes into two ways. One, we obviously have our PVOD, so Premium Video On Demand. So, uh, you know, as, as movies start making that digital transition faster and faster, where they're in theater and on digital at the same time, uh, that allows us to, to you know, get our owners access to movies even faster. Uh, so we have that, and then our general rental program, you know, like I mentioned, of our 12,000 movies, 8,000 of those are available for rent. So again, mm -hmm. a huge percentage of those. And what's great with it is you'll see, uh, again, the average rental price, let's say, is about $8. You rent the movie, it downloads it to your system, it's gonna sit on there for 30 days, it is the same exact quality as if you purchased it. So again, that same full fidelity, pristine, you know, audio and video that you're gonna get when you purchase the movie, you're gonna get that same thing when you rent it. And then once you start watching it, you have your time limit to be able to, to watch it. You can watch it as many times as you want, but let's say you, you love the movie, right? You weren't sure, uh, you wanted to rent it first and you decide you, you really like it. Well, now when you purchase it within that 30 day rental window, we're gonna actually credit half of the rental price towards the purchase price. And that's something I haven't seen on any other platform, Phil. So again, we want we want our users to be able to, obviously if they wanna buy the movie, lots of us just buy them, that's great. Mm -hmm. But if you wanna test drive it first, cause you're really not sure, rent it, watch it. If you love it, we're gonna help you out with that rental credit. And, and again, that's something only Kaleidoscape does. Yeah, the funny thing is we, we I used to do a lot of uh, demos at mm -hmm. trade shows still do sometimes and i can't tell you going down to the 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 store and buying a stack <laughs> of of this because you don't really know which one you're going to ask the studio sure. what clip you want to get rights to and you're buying buying and you and you play it and you go nope you play it you're like no nope, and then you find the one um the nice thing about this is it's the same quality as if i yeah. bought it so yes. i can go in um rent a bunch of things and then find the preferred demos and then reach out to Kaleidoscape in the studios to get rights to use those for trade shows. So, so for me, being a selfish uh, reviewer <laughs> slash uh, retail slash product guy that has to go out and find that great, you know, five to 10 minutes, it is a, um, it is a, um, a benefit. The other thing I like about them is they have this thing called this, the scene thing. So whether you're a dealer or whether your buddies come over and they go, show me what you got, it, um, Kaleidoscape actually goes either way to actually go through the movies and kind of grab the most compelling scenes. So you can actually go in and when you bring up John Wick, you could bring up the cool nightclub scene immediately. No FBI foot, no FBI warnings, no scrolling through. It immediately goes and plays what you want. I think, Phil, exactly like you said, it's it's one of those features that not everybody knows about. 
you know, even even owners, I talk in the forums, I'm in the forums all the time with consumers, and some of them love it. The, people will actually share demo scripts of, you know, different scenes that mm -hmm. they've seen. Uh, but for a lot of people, they don't know that it's there. And, and dealers, like you said, you know, definitely use it and should be using it because it mm -hmm. immediately queues up multiple scenes. So it, it makes for the smoothest demo possible. But I always say, even for the consumer, you know, we like to show off our theaters. We're having yeah. friends come over. We're doing this and that. So if you have a couple of those scenes, maybe it's, you know, again, I like, you know, uh, I use life cycles a lot, you know, as a, as a video clip for for dynamic range. It's it's beautiful and UHD quality, you know, and then I want to use Ready Player One for, you know, showing Atmos, you know, it, right, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you know, or if I want to show LFE, I mean, obviously there's Tenet now, um, you know, but you have movies like Deepwater Horizon, you know, or, uh, you know, if I want to be able to show music capability of a system, right? Because we often talk about movies, but mm -hmm. concerts is something that we have a huge collection of, you know, and and there's there's titles like Nora Jones that just came out in, you know, 4K Atmos, um, mm -hmm. Hans Zimmer, you know, which is in, again, we're one of the few that have it in, in 4K HDR. So it's 4K quality for video. It's in mm -hmm. Atmos quality. It sounds amazing. And again, it's just, it's fun to be able to listen to, you know, or Sarah Bareilles, I picked up the other day too, mm -hmm. uh, for two channel, but it, you know, she does a cover of uh, sitting on the dock of the bay and it's absolutely amazing. So I think, you know, as you get all that different content in there, um, being able to throw in those demo clips just makes mm -hmm. it that much more fun and easy because yeah, you're not holding five, six discs flipping mm -hmm. through FBI warnings. They're not chapter jumps. It takes you right to that scene that you want. And if you have a favorite that you want to create, you can actually create your own favorite scene as, as well. Okay. So you have a ton of movies that are, the picture quality is consistent. You have a wider variety of HDR and 4K content that's available. You have movie content, you have music content, and you have the best interface on the market. So the next thing we need to talk about is I have all this content. Let's talk a little bit about the boxes or sure. the players that the content goes into. So let's start first with the, with the Strato S. And let's talk sure. a little bit about that one. Okay. So yeah, the, the Strat OS is our all-in-one player. So if you look, mm -hmm. you know, from a convenience area, it's only one RU high. So that's the, you know, the picture that, that you had in your rack earlier. So really easy to be able to slide into a, a rack really quickly. They come in two variants. Uh, you know, we, we call them out in terabytes, but really it should be about movies, right? So, you know, that's really what people want to know about. So there's a six terabyte, six terabytes equates to about a hundred 4K quality movies. Now, obviously most of us, Phil, we wish every movie was in 4K, but they're not quite there yet. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, so we've got 4K content and Blu-ray content. So again, you may get a little bit more than that hundred, but usually what I like to say is, you know, six terabytes equates out to about a hundred 4K quality movies. And then mm -hmm. we have our 12 terabyte, um, which again, same size box, uh, but 12 terabytes, which will get you about 200 4K movies. Um, you know, and again, depending on on what kind of content you you have stored in there. So mm -hmm. great all-in-one player. Uh, they can be expanded to two zones. So let's say you know everybody kind of starts in this group. You know, we're we're starting in our theaters, right? That's that's kind of the main place where we're investing into that. But once you own all that content, it's like, wouldn't you want to be able to? maybe finish a movie in a bedroom, right? You know, or uh, maybe you've got a kid's room and you've got a lot of, you know, cartoon content, Disney content. Uh, you can put a, a Strato C player, uh, which we'll, I'm sure we'll talk about in a second here, but we'll, you can go ahead and put that in the kid's playroom or somewhere in there. And so that allows you to actually simultaneously serve out two different movies in 4K quality at the same time. So mm -hmm. that's where, uh, like I said, a Strato S is, is great for that, uh, you know, beginner system as we offer rentals. You know, if, if you're a rental guy, uh, that's where a six terabyte would probably work great for you because, you know, you, you can rent plenty of movies. Most of us still have those favorite movies that you're going to want to buy. So it'll hold plenty of those. And then what I find for people that like to collect, people like me, um, I chat with people all the time that have, you know, anywhere between 150 and 300 movies, let's say on disc, you know, is kind of that average. Uh, you know, that's where, again, a step to a 12 terabyte where you're going to be able to get double the amount of movie storage is great. Mm -hmm. And then otherwise, uh, you know, we have our Terra products, you know, which step up multiple step ups, you know, in terms of quality and, and viewing, as well as being able to store four or 800 movies. Yes. So if you look at, yeah, so the Terra is for that guy that's has, that's the hardcore with the big house 
Um, <laughs> but like I said, and I would, I would, that's my next Christmas present as a terabyte. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> but, I, you know, but, for um, myself, yeah, I've got a, uh, a 40 terabyte at, at home. So like I said, that, you know, that, that'll hold, we actually just upgraded that to a, to a 48 terabyte in, in the last mm-hmm. month. So that'll hold about 800 movies. And then our 24 terabyte Terra, uh, will hold about 400. But what's really cool with it are, are a couple main pieces in there. Uh, so one being able to download, uh, three to four times faster than what a Strato S can do. So, you know, let's say a, a Strato S, uh, you know, could download that 4K movie in about 45 minutes to, you know, to, to an hour. Um, so it's perfect. You kind of figure out what you want to watch, make some dinner, get ready, sit down, your movie's ready to go. Uh, but with the Terra, you can download that same 4K movie in about 12 minutes. So, you know, I, I, I'm telling you, it's great when you're able to kind of sit there and, and I'm always chatting with consumers or dealers and somebody's like, hey, have you checked out this movie or what about this demo clip? Just like you were talking about. And so I'll literally sit there, pull it up on the browser. And by the time I can get into my room to be able to check it out, the movie's downloaded. So that's, awesome. uh, that's a great feature. And then the other really cool thing, you know, our, our failure rates on a uh, on any of our Strato products, so Terra's or Strato's, is less than one half of 1%. So again, these things are rock solid. But let's say a drive fails on you. In a Terra unit, you can actually pull down the faceplate, remove the defective drive. There's four drives inside of it but the other three drives will continue working. So even if a drive fails, your Terra system never goes down on you, which you know is great because the only time anything ever breaks, Phil, is 20 <laughs> minutes before a party or when your you know, kids are over and want to watch a Disney movie, right? You know, And exactly. it's like, where's the movie? <laughs> so exactly. again, Terra is a great way to be able to take care of that. And then like you said, so that's great for even a, a single zone or two, <laughs> but at the same time, the step up versus the Strato S you can actually simultaneously serve out up to eight 4K movies. So Mm -hmm. again, if you do have a house with multiple rooms, you've already paid for that content, you've got Strato C's in a master bedroom or a kid's bedroom or a playroom, uh, you can actually stream different discrete 4K movies to eight zones at the same time. So something you just can't do uh, in a normal Strato. And whether you're a dealer or a consumer, talking about it in that perspective, I have dealers, same thing, right? They have three or four showrooms. So you know, that natural progression is, you know, starting out with the six or 12 terabyte, but then naturally moving up to that Terra because mm-hmm. they want to be able to show the same thing, that consistent demo. I should be able to show the same movie in any of those different theaters with different price systems and speakers and the rest and have that same consistent viewing experience. So I think that makes exactly. perfect sense for you and and for lots of consumers as well. Yeah. Now, speaking of, so like I said, whether you're a professional or whether you're a consumer, um, regardless of your budget, you know, a good source is going to make your content better. A good source will also grow with the capabilities of your system. It's like if you went out and got a super audio CD, even if you start off with a $2,000 system, it's going to make that $2,000 system sound great. But if you went with a $100,000 system, you're still using the same disc. The limitation is not the source, not the source content, it's the peripheral. So it's a buy once, cry once proposition. You invest (laughs) now and you'll never have to invest again because as your system gets better, your experience gets better and it will not be held back by the content. To make it even more engaging and more enticing for um, those consumers, you actually have a new promotion that you're running with Sony. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So like you said, it's it's a great promotion. Uh, I like that. Buy once, cry once. I, I, I might have to steal that one, Phil. But <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, we 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 started out obviously, you know, for for years. If you walk into, you know, a, a dealer, you'll see Sony uh, you know, as a projection, and often you'll see Kaleidoscape as a as a source. So it, it makes sense. Uh, and so uh, you know, Sony's been coming out with a, a bunch of new products. Uh, and so we decided to kind of do a promo with a few of them. So Uh, We've got right now, the idea is if you buy one of four qualifying Sony projectors, uh, so that would be a 915 ES, a 995 ES, a 5000 ES, and then the brand new GTZ 380. So that's the brand new 10,000 lumen, (laughs) you know, laser projector. Um, I I am waiting. I have a a friend of mine at AVI Marin down here in the Bay Area uh, that just put one in. So I am I am waiting to get over there to be able to check this thing out. But 10,000 lumens, uh, you know, is, is absolutely nuts. And so 
Um, so yeah, so if you buy any one of those four qualifying projectors, uh, then you will actually get $3,000 off of any Kaleidoscape system. Mm. And so a Kaleidoscape system could be a Strato S. So you've got a, you know, like we talked about a Strato S six terabyte or 12 terabyte. Um, so at the base level, uh, you know, a six terabyte Strato S costs $6,000. Mm-hmm. So if you purchase that, you could actually get it for $3,000. So as we mm-hmm. talk about that, buy once, cry once, uh, mm-hmm. it's a lot easier if, you know, if the price is that much cheaper for you, right? And so yeah. Yeah. we have that, but, you know, where I think the best value in that Strato S sphere uh, is actually upgrading to that 12 terabyte, because like I said, you're going to get double the storage, but at mm-hmm. $3,000 off, normally that's a $9,000 system. So that means mm-hmm. now I can double my storage for what the mm-hmm. base six terabyte unit costs. So mm-hmm. that's a great way to be able to, you know, to, to take a look at that as, again, I'm going to invest in this, but I know I'm going to want more than 100 movies. So that 12 mm-hmm. terabyte gets you there. Um, and then in addition to that, obviously, as we talked about, like with Terra and the rest, with a Terra, it's a system. So you would need the Terra, which is your server, and then a Strato mm-hmm. C, which would be your playback device. So mm-hmm. if you buy that system together, then that's going to be another $3,000 off as, as well. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, again, a great way with $3,000 off. It's a great way where we know a lot of Sony users are obviously putting Kaleidoscape systems in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this just kind of makes it easier. You know, so again, exactly. if you're looking at any, any of those four projectors, uh, you know, mm-hmm. definitely make sure that, you know, we, we talk about Kaleidoscape in there and, uh, and take a look at that as a, as a great source content. Cause like you said, exactly. it all starts with the source, you know, and, and, yeah. it, and you know, we look at it like speakers. I always say in a, in a classic way, <laughs> nobody would buy a great pair of speakers and then be playing free lossy Pandora through it. Right. Mm-hmm. You're just not going to get that quality out of it. And it's the same mm-hmm. thing. And even more so when we're talking about movie content or concert content, because there's mm-hmm. so much more data. Uh, and mm-hmm. so, you know, when you look at that average streamer versus us, uh, mm-hmm. you know, we're talking about four times more video content, up to 10 times more audio content, uh, you know, and that's gonna result in, uh, you know, better picture quality and better audio quality, uh, mm-hmm. you know, just like just like you're showing up here. You know, it's it's absolutely, uh, you know, visible and and you can absolutely hear it when you're when you're listening to it as well. Exactly. Anybody that's buying a Raptor, a GTZ, 380 and does not buy a kaleidoscape (laughs) i am going to come to your house okay (laughs) and we're going to have a personal conversation you know you need to have a good source to go with those flagship units now as we're talking you know we're talking about these big raptors and and people when they see the kaleidoscape stuff they're thinking oh my god i have to have this gigantic um home theater system but like i said regardless of your budget there's a benefit to having um, a, a Kaleidoscape player. We just did a sponsored article um, this month on the benefits of having downloadable capabilities of a Kaleidoscape versus any other solution when it comes to your systems. And Brett and I talked again with just a couple of examples. Now, these are not the only systems that will work, but these are just two kind of examples. So one of them is, you know, right around $29,000, $30,000 that has a 12 terabyte um, a ridiculous, you know, uh, amount of uh, um, BP towers, a big elite screen, a Sony native 4K projector, and then for around twenty nine thousand dollars, and then we came up with one that's like about fifteen grand. Well, actually, um, that come that, that includes like you know like a good Epson projector, um, mm-hmm. still a good sound system, and a six terabyte. So. So these are just two examples. So yes, can you go and go completely off the rocker and get a Raptor and a million dollar system? Yes, it better be in there. But even if I'm looking in this $15,000 range and my budget is 15 grand, um, you want to go, you want to, this is a great solution for you. And I will let you know, pretty much as you grow, as your system grows, the only thing in this entire system that is going to stay when you go from this system to this system is going to be the Kaleidoscape, <laughs> okay? Everything else you'll swap. You'll swap the speakers. You'll get a better projector. You'll get a bigger screen. You'll get you'll get more speakers. You'll add more Dolby Atmos. You'll, try, you'll swap your everything out. But the one thing that will still stay in that rack the entire time um, until, the, until they come up with one that levitates <laughs> is going to be the kaleidoscape. So when I say buy once, cry once, it is a real smart 
investment. Well, and, now, and I think that's that's exactly right, Phil. And, and we see, you know, clients that have their premier systems for more than 10 years, because again, just mm -hmm. like you said, they've been collecting for so long. Uh, now with the Strato, it's even easier. So, you know, because you can download from the movie store, uh, mm -hmm. I was even looking, I look at my movies, you know, movies that uh, you know, maybe I bought, you know, six months ago or a year ago in HD quality because they didn't have 4K yet. When the 4K releases, our disk to digital program allows for those upgrades even less expensive. So, you know, for many of us, we all know we bought, you know, Lord of the Rings. How many times have I owned it? Star Wars. How many times have I owned it? Uh, you know, VHS, then DVD, then, you know, then, then Blu-ray, then 4K. Um, so, you know, for a lot of the people, again, once they've invested, those movies are actually less expensive to be able to upgrade through our platform. Um, you know, and, and again, they're gonna keep those, you know, that same Kaleidoscape player as you go through and add more and more content. Uh, and as more content goes to 4K, uh, you know, and forward, you know, like I said, we're, we're gonna have that player that you're gonna be able to use. And if you are somebody who, again, has invested for the last 10 years in Premiere, uh, which was typically a disc-based and up to HD quality, we have great programs like we offer products that allow you to tie in that new platform, that Strato platform to the older Premiere platform so that you can see them all in one on-screen display. It's always about that user interface being super simple, super easy, fun to use. Everybody in the family can use it, not just the, the techie person who, you know, really loves it. And I think those are the benefits that, yeah, you know, I, you're, you're going to always be changing your system. That 1080p projector eventually goes to 4K. Same thing with the speakers as you upgrade, but great quality. I always say it's the room, the acoustics, mm -hmm. and then great source content. And those are the, exactly. the main three things to focus on because they last you the longest as you build through your theater. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You know, so you, over the past few months, Kaleidoscape has had a lot of exciting things going on. You got your rental program. You got your, prom you got your promotion now. And you also have, and it's your 20th anniversary. So is. Uh, now, is there any more news? Because there are some other things that, that have happened over the last um, few months as well. You want to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, like you said, there's a, there's a lot of great stuff. Obviously, the Sony promotion is the brand new, and that one goes from uh, beginning of April. So it's already starting now all the way through the end of September. So, you know, we've got mm -hmm. some time in there. Um, but, yeah, in the last six months, uh, we've had a lot of changes. So, obviously, uh, you know, people like me have come in for dealer training and engagement. Uh, we mm -hmm. also have a new CEO. Uh, so Taylor's come in and again, has been making some great changes and a lot of advocacy for the consumer side because he actually started out as a consumer. He's been a, a Kaleidoscape owner uh, since 2007. We've brought in a new VP of marketing. Uh, so, you know, Norma comes in and she comes from Dolby uh, and THX and Lucas Films. And so uh, again, great background in there. Um, so we're, we're bringing in again, a lot of great people that, that are still passionate about, you know, movies. Uh, but also about, you know, the custom install side and, and theater building and things like that. Uh, and then uh, right now, we're actually in the last couple of weeks, uh, we've announced, a, a, again, a new exclusive partnership with Watershed Group, uh, which is a group in Canada. So, uh, again, we want to make sure that our, our, you know, our Canadian, you know, brothers and sisters up north, uh, you know, have the ability to make it easy to, to be able to find those Kaleidoscape products as well. And the Watershed Group is is a great partner for that. I got a chance to to train them last week. They were super engaged uh, and and ready to go. Uh, and not only are they you know a distributor for for Canada, so supplying the dealers with the products that they'll need, uh, they also have some great design setups. Uh, so they're you know they're able for the consumer side. A consumer can reach out uh, and they'll help them with the design process and then finding a dealer, as well as you know dealers being able to come to them for help as well. So we're we're super happy about that partnership. Uh, you know, and it's brand new as as we continue to grow it. Exactly. So if you look at it, you guys, like I said, a great year. So if you're looking for the best source with the most reliability, with the widest amount of content, with the consistency and a beautiful interface, you should check out Kaleidoscape. And if you're looking at buying a Sony projector as well, the opportunity is now. Bye, 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 bye. So, um, so, so Brett, thank you very much for coming and talking a little bit about Kaleidoscape and, and all of the great, um, um, what makes it a bit, um, what makes it great as well as your new promotion. Um, and it, and for those who are watching the video, check out the article that on Kaleidoscape that's on the 
projected reviews page and it talks about those those um, sample systems. So thank you, thank you for listening and take care everyone and we will talk to you soon. Cool, thank you, Phil. Bye everybody.